Hey guys, Krista Jones here from Davy and Krista. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a simple logo using Adobe Illustrator. So to start, I'm going to open up the program and I'm going to go to create new. And from here, it doesn't really matter what size your document um, is to start. You'll see later on that we're going to resize it to make sure it's not too big. Um, so I'm just going to start with one that is six by six inches. From here, I'm going to select my type tool and I'm gonna drag and open up a text box. And then I'm just gonna start by typing my business name. So Krista Jones Photography. I'm going to center the text and then I'm gonna click my little arrow here and make sure that this text box is still selected. And I'm gonna give it a different font. So I really like Cormorant, Garamond. I think it's like a clean classic font. So I'm gonna select that one, but Feel free to play with this. Feel free to um, like copy and paste this and try a bunch of them so that you can be compare. Like if you wanted to compare Playfair Display with Cormorant, um, you could do so. And you could just have a bunch of them and then figure out what you like best. For demo purposes though, I'm just gonna start with this one. So I'm gonna select the whole box again and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. And then I wanna make sure that I select this little, I'm in the character palette and I select this little like three horizontal line and make sure that oh, the options are open. So if your palette looks something like this and it's kind of small, you wanna make sure that you show the options. So from here, I know that I want my logo to be all caps. So I'm gonna select all caps and I am going to optically align the letters so that they're spaced out more evenly. But then I want to space them out even more. So I'm going to come to this letter spacing option and I'm going to make it 75. And if your logo does this where it jumps onto two lines, I'm just going to drag this little box and make it bigger. And then I'm going to come up here and kind of center it on the page again. So I'm looking at this and it's really long. And I think that I can also adjust it a bit so that it emphasizes my name and not photography quite so much because photography is kind of like a secondary word in the logo. So I'm going to copy and paste it so that I have two of them. And then I'll remove photography from this one and I'll get remove my name from this one. And then I'm going to select this box and I'm going to make it italics. Let's make it lowercase. Let's make it all lowercase. So change that P. And let's make it a lot smaller. And let's make it more spaced out. So maybe try like 140. And then I'll just pull it up closer together. Um, so this is good enough to go from here. And this is what we're gonna export. But if you wanted to add another shape or add some like element, like now would be the time to do so. There are different vector objects that you can buy online, but you can also just get creative and and make your own objects if you want some sort of icon with your logo. I don't think that's super necessary though. I think it's totally okay to do something clean and simple. And we use this version of our logo all the time. So once your logo is set, I'm gonna drag and select both elements. And I'm gonna come up to type and create outlines. And we want them to be outlines, which means that they're not editable so that if somebody opens up your PDF and they don't have your fonts installed, or if you're using the SVG on your website, and again, they don't have your fonts installed, they still see what you want them to see. Because if those fonts are outlined, somebody's probably gonna see something that looks like Arial or is like something really basic and not what you are going for. Once your stuff is outlined, I'm gonna come to document setup and edit artboards. And I'm just gonna drag and get rid of all the extra white space in my look, my document. So make this much, much smaller. And that's because if we were to leave our document this big, when you export your final files, um, some of them are gonna have this much white space around your logo. And then that's gonna make it really hard to work on your website or upload it anywhere because your logo will be really tiny within this big white document. So we are gonna get rid of all of this extra space. So. So get it as tight as you can. Um, it doesn't have to be right up against it. It's totally fine to have like a little bit of space. Something like that, I think is gonna work well. Once you've done that, it's time to export your files. So I'm gonna come up to File, 
and export for screens. And you want to make sure that this is selected and you can choose where your files are going to go. So mine are just going to go in a, a new folder on my desktop. And then the settings that I like to export with are, I like to export a PDF. I like to export a JPEG and I make it 10 times scaled so that it's nice and large and I don't have to worry about exporting it again or making it bigger or smaller or so on. I like to export an SVG and I like to export a PNG at 10 X. So, and if you want to learn more about why I'm exporting with all of these different settings and the best scenarios for each of these file formats, check out the blog post that goes with this article. Um, for now though, I'm going to hit export and then it's going to open up this folder and all of my files will be in here. So it actually went right to my desktop. So, um, here is my JPEG. Here's my PNG. Here's my PDF. And then here's my SVG file. So that's it. You have your basic logo.